was talk, when I was talking to your dad yesterday, he was saying that you chose to go to the Under Armour All American game because you wanted to show that you could compete against a lot of the SEC guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, talk about that a little bit. Like, what is what goes in the mindset of being able to show that you can do it, and what do you think about the so-called difference between the you know northern schools and the southern schools? Well, the southern schools they got a lot of they got great weather. We know they got we really don't have good weather like that. We get good weather for like for a month or two. After that, just nothing but cold. But that cold actually kind of makes it stronger because our blood got thick enough to get through it. So us playing, going down there, good weather, imagine what will happen. Probably become even more better. Hmm. So me going against them, I just want to show everybody down south. It's just not about the down south. It's all around, especially up north in the cold. Well, last year when we talked after the Preps Kickoff Classic, you said focus A, B, and C was education. Uh, what have you been able to learn so far about the uh, the schools that you've been visiting and looking at as far as you know pursuing pursuing your educational goals? Actually, I learned a lot. Uh, they all have my major, which is kinesiology. Plus, every school got a minor in business, so yeah, that's pretty good. But then again, these coaches they actually have a plan for me after football. I can't play football forever. Yes, I want to. That's my I love the sport, but I can't play forever. So I want to focus on education. Like I said, just can't play football. <laughs> Right on. Now, uh, what schools have stood out as far as those academic pitches? Have, that, have any really seemed to stick out above the rest at all? or uh, Really, all the schools, I talked to them all, they all got the same thing. I just got to go further to research and learn everything more. Mm-hmm. Cause you may say something, but I look it up and see. Cause they always come out with new rankings and everything, so I guess they'll update it. All right, so you're trying to see what, what schools have better better like rankings in, in the fields that you're looking at in kinesiology and business that makes a big difference to you yeah other than just uh, that and network really mm-hmm. the network really helps too mm-hmm. now you're being recruited right now as a safety at the next level but are you planning on playing on both sides of the ball you you in the championship games last year you, you had some pretty great runs on the offensive side uh right now they just recruit me as a safety nook on corner Nobody actually talked to me about playing offense. Mm-hmm. Is that something that's on your mind at all? Playing offense? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> Just playing defense is what I like to do a lot. You, know, you worked hard, got an invite to the opening this year. What's that going to, what do you expect going into that? What's your excitement level? Mm-hmm. Me, my excitement level is 100. Mm-hmm. Really, I get to play, go against the best of the best, like Jemias, Williams, all the guys. Plus, it's time, Detroit, it's time for Detroit to show out that we can, we can ball. Now, speaking of the whole, you know, Detroit and the and Michigan and such, um, Michigan itself has made a big push with the Pipeline Nine uh, initiative for for your class. Has that made talk about that? Has that made any kind of difference? Uh, is the idea of you playing with some of your, you know, classmates and people in this region? Does that make a difference at all? Well, a lot of us are trying to go to school together. Like uh, me and my cousin, every time we're trying to go to school together. Mm-hmm. He's part of Pipeline Nine as well. But uh, the coaches and everything when they started it's pretty pretty good talking to them. They all got great coaches, especially Jim Harbour, Coach Partridge, Don Brown now there. So I talked to him pretty a lot, so it's pretty good. Now with that in mind, you talking about Ambry, uh, a lot of rumors have been circulating that saying that you two are something of a package deal. Uh, how true might that be, and what schools are you two looking at together? It's true and it's not true because yes, we gotta go to school that fits us personally, but if it's a school that we both like, more like we gonna visit together and see how it fits us. Then, then you say it'd be a package deal, but you also can't say it because you also gotta choose what fits him, and I gotta choose what fits me. Mm-hmm. Right on. Uh, what schools so far have uh, have you been thinking about visiting this uh, in this off season? Uh, Oregon. I'm supposed to go back to Ohio State during the summer. Uh, Michigan, I go there all the time. And I don't know about Oklahoma, uh, a couple other schools too. But it's all, it's all in the mix. I'm trying to get a exact date when I'm going to take all these visits and everything. Mm-hmm. So I can come back with my parents, head coach and everything, sit down and make my top five, top ten, and go from there. Do you have a timeline in mind at all for when you're going to trim down your list a little bit? No, not yet. Not until I take all my visits or figure out when I'm going to take them. <laughs>